Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this weekend I've been pretty busy doing a little makeover of our laundry cupboard. So when we moved into this house, we had a cupboard in our hallway which actually had a water tank in it. We ended up having a new boiler installed. The water tank wasn't necessary so we had it removed which gave us a lot of space to be able to install a washer dryer into the cupboard which meant that we didn't have to have them in the kitchen or anything like that. We don't have a utility room so this was like a perfect little kind of laundry nook in our house and we have been loving it. We had it installed like as soon as we moved in and um, yes that's like a whole year of using it and we love it but the current layout wasn't really working. So I wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit, make it look a lot nicer and cleaner in there and also make it look a lot more functional for what we want as well. So yeah, I've been busy this weekend and I'm gonna show you what I got up to. Okay guys, just to give you a little look as to what we're working with. Um, so similar to the coat cupboard, it's a pretty good size. We were hoping to get these out of here because originally I did want to replace the flooring. Now we have like a really affordable like LVT tile down in there, which we managed to quickly install before the washer and dryer went in. I was hoping to take these out, pull up that flooring and put the wood flooring down, just carry it on from the hallway. But these weigh an absolute ton. We strap them together. So without like, I thought we would basically be able to slide them out and we're just not gonna be able to. So not ideal, but I'm just gonna have to leave them in there. Like the flooring's okay, it's only a laundry cupboard, do you know what I mean? So plan is I'm gonna just cover these up. I'm gonna try and remove some of these that aren't necessary. So that one does have pipe work running off of it. You can see that obviously we've got like a couple of pipes and stuff in here, but some of them like this one isn't necessary. So I can take that one down I think same as that one. I'll try and remove as many as possible because I do want to hang stuff in here. And these are both dead. I got my electrician to check them so I can remove those and fill those in as well. So a little bit of prep work, um, but then we can start painting, which is the exciting bit. Okay, this is proving very difficult to film because there's not a lot of room, but I thought I'd just update you what I've done. So I've managed to shift the washer and dryer over to one side so that I could remove a few of these kind of slats. Some of them have obviously those pipes attached to it, so I won't be touching those. I have removed the um, electrical outlets that were disconnected, so I filled in some of these holes. Um, I actually got this filler, which is pretty good. It's like a deep hole filler. Um, I've used it before, it's actually really, really good, so I'll leave that link down below. Um, so I was thinking, Whilst it's over to one side, obviously painting behind this is gonna be so difficult. I was thinking whilst I've got it shunted over to one side, I'm gonna go in and try and paint like behind it there. And then like obviously once that's dry, I'll sand it back and paint this bit. And then I'll probably have to shunt this over that way, remove the, these bits and then paint that bit as well. So it's gonna take a little bit longer to do it this way, but this stuff is heavy. Um, so I don't really want to be moving it to be honest. So that is the plan of action. Just to show you guys quickly as well, this is the paint I'm going to use. So this is exactly the same paint I used in our coat cupboard. Hello. Um, it's the Good Home Tough and Durable Matte Emulsion in Louisville, which is a really nice kind of dark, kind of grey colour, but it's got really nice bluey green undertones to it. So it's nice and dark and moody, but not like a really flat colour. Um, this is so dusty from all the work we've been having done in our house. Um, so yeah, I have this one left over. I actually got two of these, which were, I think they were two for like £30, which is pretty affordable. So I'm going to paint it with that. Um, yeah, I've still got loads left over in this one, to be honest, which is the same one I opened for the um, coat cupboard. So I'm going to go in with that. It's pretty good coverage, so hopefully it won't take too long. Real me to get it going, open me up. Sweet talking like you mean it, but you're making it so complicated. And hate it. Every time I get too close, you push me away. Don't want to stick, telling me you don't want any obligations. And how you hate them. Don't call me just cause you're lonely. Maybe I'm your 
first Maybe I'm not I think about it way too much And every single thought Is making me Making me Give me something Straight from your heart All this insecurity is tearing me apart You're making me Sleepless You're making me sleepless Yeah I keep losing in this game of playing pretend I don't wanna be a 4 a.m. I'm suffocating Just by waiting on you So don't call me just cause you're lonely You know you're killing me slowly Okay, progress. This side looking really good nice dark moody vibes nice to get rid of some of that magnolia and also I painted the pipes and you basically can't really see them at all which is fantastic then this side still looking pretty gross pretty grubby I'm gonna move this washing machine over like I said try and rip out some of these I don't know which ones are actually attached to um the pipes or not so we'll have to see how many I can get rid of but to be fair some of the ones in here that attach to the pipes like once they're painted you cannot see it the only reason I want to get rid of them is I was planning on hanging some stuff there spoiler alert but we shall see reel me in to get it going open me up sweet talking like you mean it but you're making it so complicated and hate it every time I get too close you push me away don't want to stick telling me you don't want any obligations and how you hate them don't call me just cause you're lonely okay guys so first coat of paint is on the walls I have painted as much as possible it's very difficult it's quite a tight space in there and there's just yeah a lot going on so I've done as much as possible that I think you're gonna like see including the ceiling as well um that's all dry the first coat is completely dry and I'm gonna start the next bit of the project which is installing a shelf so we don't have anywhere to put any of our like washing stuff like detergent um fabric conditioner all of that so um we did used to put it on top of the washing machine but obviously when it's on a spin cycle it kind of vibrates and stuff falls off so i'm going to put a shelf just above the washing machine so that we can just put stuff up and we don't have to bend down and like pick it up off the floor and stuff um so i'm going to reuse bits i already have and i'm going to explain it to you now because it's such a tight space filming is very very difficult so i'm going to explain it to you and then hopefully i'll be able to film as much as possible but i'm going to do exactly what i did with our coat cupboard i didn't explain it very well there but i've basically got a scrap piece of wood i'm going to cut these down and i'm going to use these as brackets so i'm going to do two little bits of wood on the side <laughs> screw them um drill through them put screws and wall plugs in attach those and i'm gonna put a shelf on top of it with the shoe cupboard i didn't attach the shelf but with this one i think i'm gonna put some screws down to attach the shelf to the brackets i'm gonna make in terms of the shelf same as what i did in our coat cupboard um we actually ugh, ugh, it's like humidity it's been in the garage um when we moved in to this house there was loads of this like dark brown shelving in the lounge we obviously didn't want it oh god he dropped that we didn't want it so we took it down but i didn't chuck away the boards because i knew that i could use them at some point so i'm going to cut that down um yeah and install that so hopefully that will give us a lot more storage i have some adhesive kind of brackets for like brooms and stuff um what else i'm gonna get one of those i can't remember what they're called extendable kind of pole things it's like a suctiony one i need to get that at some point but i'm gonna get one of those because it would be nice to be able to hang stuff in there if we did want to um and then i might put some hooks on the back of the door i don't know we shall see but i'm gonna crack on with this now I'm basically gonna cut everything down to size get these installed on the wall and then gonna put prime it with my zinsa primer leave that to dry and then I'm going to paint it that same moody colour as everything else and I'm going to give 
Um, any other bits that need like touching up, I'm gonna give it like a second coat basically. I'm feeling way too low to start this night, but I wanna get to your bash. Last night you tried to make me angry, but this time I get you mad. Oh, don't need apologies enough for this. I'm burning for you. Okay guys, so it is the next day. I left this all to dry overnight. So the walls and the shelf have all had two coats on now and it looks so much better. It's such an optical illusion. I thought this with the coat cupboard as well, that basically if we were to paint it darker, that it would look smaller, but actually it has the opposite effect. It looks a lot bigger because it's all like one color and yeah it's nice and kind of like dark in there so basically what i'm gonna do now is i got these little hooks from amazon i think i got a pack of four and i'm sure you guys probably would have seen these before but you basically push your like broom and whatever you want to hang into these little clip things they're self-adhesive so i'm just going to put them on the wall because i've got things like i don't know my mop and like my broom and stuff like that i just want to hang on this wall here so i don't know if those plugs are going to get in the way but we'll see, I'm just gonna try and reconfigure it a little bit. I had to think, so originally I said about putting like a suspension rod across here. And do you know what, I'm not, I'm not sure that I wanna do that anymore. I think I'm just gonna see how I get on with it. And if I wanna add it at a later date, then I can. But I was kinda like, would I actually use it? I don't think I would. And then obviously I'm gonna put all of our washing stuff up on this shelf again and kind of restock the cupboard. Then after that, the only thing to do is put the door on and sort out like a threshold bar. But to be honest, like I'm just gonna do that at a later date because it's raining outside, I can't do any cutting and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll just do it at a later date. I'm feeling way too low to start this night, but Okay guys, so the laundry cupboard is done. This is so much better than what we had previously. So like I said, I kind of shunted the cup, the washer and dryer slightly to one side, just to give me a bit more room on this side to be able to hang stuff. So I've hung my broom and also my kind of like 
spray mop thing on these hooks so like i said these are from amazon and they're super affordable they also have these little hook things so if you want to kind of hang other stuff as well you can um i've also chucked down the side our steam mop i don't know if you can see that i was going to try and hang it but it's too bulky to hang um and we don't really use it anymore to be honest because it's not compatible with our flooring um i've also hung our dustpan and brush so i've had to hang the actual pan of it kind of on that hook because you can't hang it as a set but it's nice just to kind of have that there and tidy then up on the shelf here like i said we've got all of our washing stuff i've also chucked up our iron there you guys know i don't really iron so that will just probably stay there we've got like whitewash stuff but this is all like our more of our everyday stuff and having that shelf there means obviously stuff isn't going to get sort of like vibrated off the top of it so it means that we can also have this little space here to put our washing basket this is one of those fold away washing baskets from adis i think i got that from amazon as well i'll link it down below because it is such a good kind of space saver we've kind of been putting it on the floor but it's nice to get it up out of the way um but yeah this is just going to be way more functional for us we don't have to dump everything on the floor like we have been doing it looks a lot nicer as well just getting rid of the kind of like murky like magnolia paint just makes it look a lot kind of cleaner and fresh anyway um i will link everything down below that i've used the only thing i have that hasn't arrived yet is i did get some little um kind of rubber feet to sit on like underneath the washing machine that's meant to take away some of the shock um from it so i've got that i'll install those hopefully once they arrive and then like i said we've got the door and the threshold bar to put on but that's pretty much it to be honest um a nice little quick kind of i only really took me like a day to do this um and honestly it's gonna help so much with just keeping like clean and tidy so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because we've got way more stuff coming in the house um so yeah if you like home reno kind of content don't forget to subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one